hello everyone welcome to my channel cat tutorials for beginners and in this tutorial we will create a tennis ball so let us start with a generative shape design go to uh, start shape and uh, generative shape design so uh, create ok and now uh, just add one geometrical set here so go to insert and geometrical set let's give a name geometry you can say and now uh, we will create this uh, ball now okay so let us start select the spear and uh, the center is going to be a create point and it is 0 0 then uh, define the radius of the uh, sphere let's say 35 270 and then just click OK. Now go select the uh, position sketch and select ZY plane. Let me draw some geometry here. Now uh, select a line here. keep it inside and uh, make this line is tangent to the circle just mirror this line against this axis here and now select this projection edge stream this unwanted lines here just double click here and then you can select okay so now let's create one again one line here this we will find the intersection of this point and uh, this line here that we, we will constrain this line with that point let's go to the point select this line and this line so we will get this point here make these lines constructions with the sketch tools and now make this point this line and this point is coincidence So uh, for the slot we will create one profile here and this must be not a construction line okay now we provide some dimensions here with the formula we will going to create this sorry We will create the parameters. We forgot to create the parameters here. So, from formula command, just create these parameters. Select the length here and let's give 24. Enter again. Select the second one, that is you, uh, 6 mm, and a new parameter, let's say uh, 40 mm, and then click OK. Just uh, select with the formula so that you can modify it. 
at any point of time. So uh, for this, uh, we have given this 24 radius and now select to radius and edit formula then uh, select this second parameter here and now just give this dimension to center to center and select here the third parameter just click ok if you are not able to find this parameter option here then we already have seen in our previous tutorials go to options here and go to uh, infrastructure part infrastructure and then in uh, in display tab you will see here these parameters you need to check these parameters so that it will be shown in this tree so uh, we will do one thing uh, we will select this circle and uh, make it output feature so that uh, it will be uh, seen in the 3D as well. Yes. Uh, exit this workbench and now, now we will project this profile onto this sphere surface. So go to uh, the projection and here uh, select this project direct lines. So I will do one thing here. So if we if if I select this, it will be selected in these three sections. So uh, you will do one thing here. You will create a join command here and then select this three edges so that it will be created as a single entity. Just select the support here and we will select the direction as well. Select this plane and then click OK. So now this sketch is projected on this sphere. Now we can simply hide this hide this sketch here and now you can see uh, the uh, profile is created and the guide is created which is projected on that sphere. So now go to the part design And here, select the closed surface option. Oh, sorry. We need to define this part body first here. Define work object and then go to the closed surface and make it close. So now uh, go to the slot command. And select the profile here and then the center core. If, if you are not joining this curve in the while projecting, uh, it is not going to create this uh, slot throughout. So it will only select uh, the first sketch and it will discontinue. So uh, you must join this curve in the uh, while projecting this sketch. So now here uh, select the reference surface. click OK. So now uh, you need to just hide this uh, geometrical set. You can see the half portion of this bo ball is created and now we'll simply mirror this. Just select this uh, part body and mirror along this and now you can see uh, the ball is created. So now you can uh, play with these options. Uh, you can just select, you can uh, add or modify this. Sorry, it is going outside now. So, so you can play with these options and uh, modify these uh, balls either with the help of these parameters. Now we'll just provide some fillets here. Just give one mm. 
we can try uh, in increasing this yeah, 2 mm will put here and now you can uh, just uh, give colors and select this to oh sorry go to the properties here and you can provide this green color or red color whatever you want here you can provide the white color as well just select this keep it as it is and so in this way you can create this uh, tennis ball uh, in Katia so thank you very much